Good afternoon. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. <laughs> well, thank you very much for the invitation back to Colombia and to Cartagena. I have not been here to Cartagena before, so it's my pleasure to be here. This is a very important topic, and we have many things to talk about, so I'm really excited. And I think I'm more excited because of all the people that we have here to participate in this very important discussion. So, muchas gracias. Uh, I also want to thank Dr. Angelo, the Perry Center. And um, he's also getting his reserve time here, which is good, while the, while the comfort is here. But we celebrated the 25th anniversary of the Perry Center uh, in the month of September. And so what a very important milestone to celebrate that wonderful institution. When I was here in Colombia on my last visit, I visited the Colombian War College. And I was inspired to meet and speak with so many women, women military leaders. And I like to say time and again that women, peace, and security isn't just a nice to have. But it's a core value that we have between the United States and Colombia. Between us and the armed forces to create a more ready, a more resilient, and more effective military to take care of our citizens and to keep our citizens safe. That's true uh, from Cartagena to Cali and from Bogota to Barranquilla. And for two centuries, our nations have built unshakable bonds based on the shared democratic values and a commitment to human rights, the rule of law, and especially gender equality. The United States and Colombia are champions of women, peace, and security. And we're inspired by the many women leaders throughout, the Columbia, throughout Colombia's military and also the civilian ranks. Tra trailblazers include your own Vice President Marquez and Command Sergeant Major Consuela Diaz of the Colombian Army. Both are role models of the progress that has been made. But we can't rest on our laurels. There's always work to be done because we have to get past, we must get past the first woman this and the first woman that. We got to get past that. So there aren't any more firsts. And I think that uh, Colombia is blazing that trail with Vice President Marquez and Command Sergeant Major Diaz. But who's going to be the next Vice President Marquez and the next Command Sergeant Major Diaz and the next General Richardson? Who's next? Who's on the bench? How are we building that bench? Some may wonder why we military officers are talking about healthcare today. Well, if there's one takeaway from what I say today, it's that health security is also national security. And I think that we have found that, especially on the heels of COVID. When COVID-19 spread across the world, partner nation security forces were called upon to respond. Colombia and the United States worked together to save lives. In the midst of this once in a generation pandemic, the United States government donated millions of vaccines, field hospitals, masks, 
and PPE to help save Colombian lives. But deeper health care inequities persist, creating barriers for women to fully participate in civil society, government, or academia. What's worse is that TCOs spread their transnational criminal organizations, I call them TCOs, spread their tentacles of violence and instability in communities, and healthcare workers can't safely serve their citizens there. That in turn worsens healthcare outcomes for women and girls, and it deepens insecurity. This week, the USNS Comfort will provide free medical care to hundreds, and I, I hope it's not hundreds, I hope it's thousands of Colombian people. Its crew, which includes both Colombian and United States healthcare workers, and many other countries that have come to provide healthcare, come together united for this mission. But it includes both Colombian and United States healthcare workers, which will help in turn, which will help turn that insecurity into peace and prosperity. We must also recognize the men who advocate for support and acknowledge the selfless sacrifices of women who defend and protect our countries. And we can only do this together. By doing so, we're building a shared neighborhood where every woman, no matter her background, her race, her education, she can climb as high as her hard work can take her. So again, it's my pleasure to be here. It is great to see everybody, and I look forward to the discussion. Thank you so much. Muchas gracias, mi general Richardson. Um, 